Rhode Island restaurants can start allowing customers back inside to eat as of today. Iowa to Sue's reporter Logan Wilbur looks at the challenges they are facing on day one. The changes continue for restaurants, from takeout only to outdoor dining and now resuming indoor dining. But as restaurants welcome the progress, these changes also come with challenges. Rain or shine, now you can dine. It feels like a dream <laughs> because we were living in a nightmare. <laughs> David Lester and his family dreamed of returning to Massimo, but oddly, didn't touch the focaccia bread. Because we're taking that home to the rest of the family. The focaccia is expected by guests at Massimo, but with new guidelines for indoor dining, some expectations have to change. You may notice that you know the menus are going to be different. That people are going to have smaller menus. Um, some of the items that you're used to from the past may not be there. It's a transition. Part of the transition means fewer tables, fewer employees, but all employees in face coverings. Guests can't gather at the bar, something Joey says is popular request, and one he has a creative solution for. We have our our tables like that we have in the dining room here, and we just have them pushed up against the bar so that guests can sit at those tables and be at the bar, but not really like sitting at the bar. After months of waiting and adjusting, restaurants are now asking the same of their guests. We need patience now more than ever from our guests. It's new for everybody. It's new for us. It's new for the guests. And um, just we're just asking everybody to be just a little more patient. Another part of being patient means possibly waiting for your favorite restaurant to reopen. Rick Simone tells me about 15% of restaurants statewide will be taking additional time to set up their dining rooms or even waiting for restrictions to ease further before reopening. Reporting in Providence, Logan Wilbur, Eyewitness News.